It's The Lamp Show, talking about practice, skill, and craftsmanship. Today we have a guest librarian. Art with Mrs. Gleason. Music with Mr. Brown. PE and health with Ms. Isham. And Spanish with Mrs. Cartier. Buenos dias, amigos. It's me, Mrs. Cartier, Senora Cartier. I'm going to take my mask off so you can see what my face looks like. We're so used to wearing masks, I forgot I had it on. I brought my friend Dora with me today to talk about something really important. Practice. I don't mean practicing soccer or practicing video games or practicing coloring. Those are all great things that you might want to practice. But Dora and I want to talk to you about the importance of practicing Spanish. The most important ways that we can practice Spanish are by listening with our ears and speaking with our mouths. Sometimes when we speak Spanish, it might feel a little funny to try to say a new word and it might kind of come out kind of strange, like igua, igua, iguamente. I just had to practice to really know how to say that word. And I made some mistakes and that's okay. So when I come into your classroom, remember that it's okay to make mistakes. The important thing to do is to keep trying. If you don't keep practicing, it will never get better, okay? So keep on practicing those Spanish words, keep on listening to those songs and words in Spanish, and we'll keep on making things better together. You might even see my friend Dora here visit with me so she can help you practice too. Until I see you again, I would love for you to practice things like buenos dias, por favor, gracias, and adios. So Dora and I are gonna go ahead and say adios for now and we hope to see you really soon so we can practice our Spanish skills to get better. Hi more school students, Miss Isham here with Mr. Bones for this week's Lamps Show. Mr. Bones and I are gonna talk to you about how to develop your craft. So every day in PE, we play, we run, we jump, we play catch, we throw different objects, we learn how to kick, we learn how to shoot baskets. But all of those things require a lot of hard work. And sometimes they can be really hard for us. So if you're finding something that's really hard and you want to get better, what do you do? You practice, right Mr. Bones? So if you find that if you want to improve at something, you just have to keep practicing it. The more you practice, the better you do. Everyone says practice makes perfect, right? So if you're working on throwing and catching and you think that it's too hard, don't give up, never stop trying. There's always room to improve. So maybe once you can throw and catch, then you can learn how to juggle. Maybe once you can kick really well, you can learn to kick into a soccer goal. Once you get really good at shooting baskets, now maybe you start using a bigger hoop. All of these things that we work on as we go can only help you later on. So the big thing to remember, as Mr. Bones and I have been saying, practice, 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 practice. And it's okay if it's hard. It's okay to have difficulty. It's okay to drop the ball. Nobody's perfect. But we want to keep practicing until we can do it as best as we can. Right, Mr. Bones? Catch. Mm, he still needs to practice, right? Keep up the good work. We'll see you next week. Hello, amazing artists. This unit is all about craftsmanship. And craftsmanship is when we develop our craft by learning to use tools and materials when we make art. And that means we practice, practice, practice. Wait a minute, I can introduce you to a friend of mine who can talk more about how artists use their craftsmanship. Hey there, Detective Dally. How are you? Hola. I am the famous Detective Dali. You may know my famous brother, Salvador. I am here today to help you learn how 
Artists use craftsmanship. If we look closely at the Mona Lisa, it is interesting to know that Leonardo da Vinci took 12 years to paint her. He did not just paint the Mona Lisa, he actually practiced, practiced, practiced. And he did that in many, many sketchbooks. Just like you have sketchbooks, he used his sketchbooks to work out his ideas and to make the art. Thanks, Detective Dally. That was really interesting. I hope that you'll give that a try too and work on your craftsmanship. Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Brown, and we're going to talk a little bit today about developing craft and skills in regards to music. Basically, that would mean um, our ability to get better as we sing or play an instrument. And what other way could we possibly improve in singing and playing than to practice? If we don't practice, we don't get any better. Practice makes perfect. So we always want to make sure that we're practicing our instruments or singing and uh, working to get ourselves better along the way. Whether you're playing an instrument like the trumpet, or whether you're singing, it's so important that you always use good breath support when you're playing. If I go to play a note on my trumpet and I don't support it with a good breath of air, I'm not going to get much of a sound. But if I take a nice breath of air, just like I would when I was taking a breath of air to sing and support that sound, then I can get any kind of sound that I'm looking for. So that is the key to making sure that you're doing what you need to do. Make sure you are breathing and supporting your sound. As far as your practice session goes itself, make sure that you plan what you're going to do and uh, set aside good things um, to work on. And the, one of the other ways that you can always work to increase your, your skill and your craft and through your practicing is take a lot of time to listen to other great performers. I've always had um, many different trumpet players that I love to listen to so that I could make myself sound at least as much like them as possible. So um, spend a lot of time listening, uh, make a plan for how you want to uh, better yourself with what you're doing. And most importantly, most importantly of all these things is make sure that you have fun doing it. If you're not having fun doing it, then you're not going to want to keep doing it. Uh, so make sure you enjoy what you're doing. Listen to other great players. And don't forget, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. All right, everybody. Have a great day. More school students? I am Lucy the Librarian here, and I'm filling in for Mrs. Demand, who is busy this week. I'm going to introduce you to a few books that are going to deal with patience and practice. So the first book is Patience is Not Easy by Mo Williams. That is a great one to read talking about patience. The next book is The Very Impatient Caterpillar by Ross Brock. He writes a great book about a caterpillar who is not very patient. And the last book I'd love to recommend to you, and this is another book that talks about practicing and being patient, it's called Waiting by Kevin Henkes. I hope that you get a chance to read these books as I suggested because I am Lucy the Librarian. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Lamp Show.